You've been described as one of the most powerful women in the world, not just in the work you've done politically for New Zealand, but now on the global stage. How do you define power? Well, what is power? It, it, it's obviously not in the position of someone like me. Autocratic power, where you issue an edict and people say, yes, ma'am, <laughs> and do it. And, and what I like about the way Forbes is now looking at leadership is that it is recognising soft power as well as uh, the executive power that goes with being head of a major corporation or head of a country. And soft power is a lot about influence. It's a lot about thought leadership. It's a lot about ideas. It's a lot about I encouraging people to uh, think of solutions, think that things can be done. So I think that's the, the territory that I'm in. I've always thought that power should be seen, in a sense, as a neutral concept. You can use it for good or you can use it for ill. My task is to use it for good. What advice do you think you'd be giving yourself when you wake up each morning and try and continue to do what you need to do? What do you need to, to tell yourself and, and remind yourself to push forward now? Well, I have to keep a sense of perspective because sometimes the, the challenges are pretty overwhelming and I give speeches where I talk about what, what are the challenges to attaining a state of, of sustainable de development and they're, they're rather a long and, and, and weighty list. So what I like about UNDP and the work at the moment is we do do practical things. You know, we, we don't just you know, waffle and talk. Out in the world I have a string of very committed people in our country offices who are supporting countries and communities to adapt to climate change, to tackle poverty, to improve their governance, improve their parliaments, uh, open up space for the, the community organisations, recover from crisis. I like that because it's doing something about the problems, not just talking about them, but doing something about them.